Our climate has changed, and it's going to keep on changing. We have a good idea of what to expect globally, but not all places are affected in the same way. This is especially true for climate change hotspots, areas that experience climate change more intensely than other places. For the hundreds of millions of people living in the semi-arid hotspot regions of Africa and Asia, life is already challenging. Their climates are harsh and hard to predict. Things are likely to get worse, making the problems we face much harder to overcome. But it's these same areas that could teach us how to adapt. For thousands of years, local people have maintained a balance with nature that's allowed them to survive in difficult conditions. That's why a group of leading research and development organizations have formed ASAR. We've been studying how the climate has already changed and is expected to change in these hotspots. We want to better understand the impacts of climate change and pinpoint effective ways to adapt so that people living in these areas are better prepared for a changing world. This video has been made to share with you the most recent research that we have, so that together we can plan for the future. The semi-arid regions of southern Africa have highly variable rainfall, which leads to frequent droughts and flash floods. These areas are culturally and ecologically diverse, but have high levels of poverty, high levels of unemployment and inequality, and high levels of HIV and AIDS. Because of the relatively low agricultural productivity, people living in these areas rely on a variety of natural resources, employment and remittances to survive. Average temperatures here have increased by 30% more than the rest of Southern Africa, confirming these semi-arid regions are climate change hotspots. The average temperatures in these regions are projected to rise by 35 to 40% more than the rest of Southern Africa over the next 40 years, meaning the impacts caused by heat will be felt here first. Rainfall in Southern Africa has shown considerable variation over the last 50 years, and from one year to the next, rainfall can change dramatically. There's also been a pattern of drier and wetter decades, and in the semi-arid regions, these patterns have been more extreme. However, there isn't strong evidence yet about how rainfall patterns might change. A lot of the same problems are likely to continue with warming, adding to the stress and causing reduced water availability, increased risk of disease, reduced crop and livestock productivity, and damage to infrastructure and buildings. Their poverty, unemployment, low levels of education, population growth, and health problems already experienced here make these regions particularly vulnerable to the impacts of climate change. In the course of the ASAR project, we're going to deepen understanding of what impacts these changes will cause and what challenges this will bring for different groups, like pastoralists, women, youth and the elderly, and those living in urban and rural areas. But ASAR's aim is to go further than that, we want to understand how to face these challenges, what factors make a real difference in being able to effectively adapt to these impacts, and how to improve people's well-being. Ultimately, we want to see a shift from adaptation that happens in a piece-by-piece, -piece, short-term way, to adaptation that brings widespread, long-term changes that will help better protect people and environments. We'll be working with decision-makers, practitioners and communities so that ASA research brings direct benefit in shaping and informing how the most vulnerable can adapt to the challenges ahead. Our climate is changing. It's time that we do too.